Hello everyone, my name is Martin Medeiros and I'm going to be your instructor for Econ 1 mac Microeconomics. And I just wanted to take this time to introduce myself and uh, to go over how this class is going to be operating on a week-to-week -week basis. I'm not going to be covering any content, I just want to make sure that you know what to expect and that there are no surprises. So first thing I want to do is take care of a little house housekeeping. Uh, right now I'm having difficulties with my email account at Chabot. Right now I can't access the email. Uh, so for the time being, please use my um, Gmail account, professor.economics at gmail.com. And when you email me, I promise I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Uh, but when you do email me, please put in the subject line, Chabot College Microeconomics. Uh, because I'm also teaching a macroeconomics course here at Chabot. And I'm also teaching a macroeconomics course at Golden Gate University. So if you just ask me a question, hey, Martin, when is the next exam and you don't include that information I won't know which class you're talking about so in the subject line microeconomics Chabot and then that will help me out a lot okay so first thing we'll do is we'll look at the uh, syllabus and I'm going to show you where you can get the syllabus on the class site and now the class site on canvas is going to go live on Monday um, and the class will start on Wednesday so there's still plenty of time for you to access all of this information so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go scroll down to the course schedule and that's course schedules on page three of the syllabus and you can see I have everything laid out on a week to week basis. Uh, I show you the week, the chapter we're going to be covering for that week and the due date for all assignments related to that chapter for that week. Now one thing all of these due dates have in common is they're all on a Sunday. Uh, so there are no surprises and there's consistency every week. So there's something due every single week. The only exceptions are these holiday weeks that you see here. Um, also, aside from the weekly assignments, we have four scheduled exams. And I have those all listed right here. You can see our very first exam. Well, we have three midterms and a final exam. So our first exam, exam one, will take place during week five, right here, week five. And uh, exam number two, week eight, exam 12, exam, exam three, week 12, and then finally the final exam, which is gonna be in the final week. All of these exams obviously are gonna be done online via Canvas, since this is an online course. So let's just take week one as an example and let's see what, what it would look like. So I'm gonna to go to, uh, canvas and this is what it's going to look like so i i have a section called course home uh, and here i have the the video that you're watching loaded right here uh, here's the syllabus that you could download now under contact information i again i give you my email information as well as my weekly office hours i'm going to be holding on mondays now these are not required but if you have any questions you want to talk to me face to face you could do that via zoom and here's the zoom link um, and so let me go back to the course home. So again, I wanted to look at um, week one as an example. So let's go to week one. So if you go back to the syllabus, week one, you read chapter one, and the due date is going to be on the 22nd, which is a Sunday. So here's week one. I, I always start with a to-do list, and that basically goes over the uh, what you have to do and the learning objectives for this particular topic. After that, I show you what is required for reading. So readings and lectures, chapter one, and I give you my lecture slides that I use for chapter one. Now, after you've done the reading, you're now ready to, for the activities to complete. Now, the activities to complete really fall into three categories, discussion threads, video questions, and then a 10 question quiz on the subject matter. Uh, now. Uh, discussion threads. There isn't a there aren't discussion threads every single week, uh, but there are video questions and weekly quizzes every single week. But again, this is due on the 22nd. Now I know this does not say the 22nd because I haven't adjusted the due dates yet. But you would read the discussion topic, and then you would respond um, by the 22nd. Then you would go to the video question. Now, a video question is basically what it 
what it sounds like. Uh, it's a one question quiz on a video that you have to watch. So here, watch this video and answer the following question. So you watch the video and you only have to answer one question on this video. Now these videos are going to help you with the exams. I'm only asking you a question just to make sure everybody watches the video, but these are four points in the class. And then there's going to be a 10 question quiz. Again, that's going to be due on Sunday. Now these questions, these quizzes are not timed. You could start and stop it. Uh, but, but as long as you submit it before the due date, you're going to be fine. And that's basically how things work on a week to week basis. The only other thing I want you to do is, uh, everybody has a question about, uh, deadlines. What if you miss a deadline? Well, if you scroll down in the class syllabus, I have things laid out in detail about the deadline policy. Uh, after you read it, I can give you a synopsis right now, right now. I cannot reopen assignments after the due date has passed. So if you have any emergency, you got to contact me before the due date. Now, what if you have a, an emergency and, uh, you don't contact me before the deadline? Well, you still can make up points with extra credit. Okay. Now extra credit can, can make up for a missed quiz or a video question. It cannot make up for a missed exam. So the, there, I cannot really think of a situation where you have an emergency and you can't co contact me. I, there, it is possible, highly unlikely. If you have something going wrong, uh, you're sick, family emergency, just send me on an email, email, Martin, we got a, a exam coming up. I can't make it for this reason. Uh, what can I do? I could help you if you contact me before the due date, as long as it's for a valid excuse. Okay. So. That's all for now. Um, if you have any questions, please email, email me here. And I look forward to interacting with you um, this term.